first question from Jackson Valentine. Have you ever shit yourself at the gym? No, no, I actually haven't shat myself at the gym. However, there was a time where I completely convinced myself that I had. I went for a volume PR on deadlifts. I don't know the weight. I don't know what the volume of this specific set was. However, I was sweaty and I was going hard. I decided that I'd go for that extra rep, which I really thought I couldn't get. And then I farted midway. That plus sweaty bamol means Kai is convinced for the rest of his gym session that there is shit in his arse crack. Second question is from Average Gym Bro. Do you take it up the rear? No. Next question, Daniel says, would you rather tear your pet or your hamstring? Now I'm gonna make the executive decision to say hamstring. I would rather tear my hamstring than my pet. Now you're thinking, that's gonna affect a lot of your daily activities. Yes, I might not be able to walk properly. However, I would still be able to train chest. Now Sam says, would you rather drop the soap or only ever train legs? And listen, I'm not gay, but now we've got another question from big boy Daniel. That being, would you rather a guaranteed one million or flip a coin? And depending on which side, you either get nothing or one billion. Now, I don't know about you, but I ain't much of a risk taker in that sense. I'm taking the million, simple, easy. Imagine the shit that you could buy with a million pounds, slash what you could invest it in. Mate, I'm buying a ton of rental properties. I'm buying a gym, obviously, because who doesn't want to buy a gym, mate? Now the next question is an interesting one. Those little bits of skin that hang on the end of your nails. Would you rather take one of those and pull it all the way up? Or would you rather pull out your pinky toenail? Personally, I think that is going to hurt a lot. However, the toenail would hurt more. But for some reason, I feel like the toenail would be somewhat satisfying, which would sort of negate the effects of the pain. Um, however, this wouldn't be satisfying whatsoever. Um, so personally, I'm actually going to go for the toenail, as weird as that might sound. Next question, which is probably the one which people are most interested in. What supplements do I take? Uh, fish oil and a multivitamin. Do I take creatine? No. Do I think you need to? No. I mean, if you want to, do it. There's the supplements that I might consider in the future. Um, anything that I were to take would probably actually be down the unnatural path. Um, performance enhancing stuff. Would I take Psalms? No. Um, would I take MK? Maybe. Would I take steroids? That'd be an interesting one. The way that I look at the old vitamin S is that the part of your brain that sort of takes and interprets consequences of your actions isn't fully developed until 21. Um, I sort of recognise that and I know that anything that I were to do now I could regret in the, fu regret in the future. Um, therefore I wouldn't look into doing that. Um, yes, it would be nice to have gains 10 times faster, um, but at the same time, it's also nice to show people that you can do it naturally uh, if you put in enough hard work. Do I respect people that take the old vitamins? Yes, um, because I think you have to have some level of bollocks to actually do it, despite the fact that your bollocks will shrink if you do it. Um, so yeah, that's my stance. Your boy hopes that anyone who did watch the video actually enjoys it. Give it a like, because um, apparently that helps the old algorithm. Um, okay, swipe back.